So how do you cook the perfect steak? No, I don't know. I was asking. I have no idea. It's just one of those things I always just avoid. I've never really figured it out. But I would like to know. So today I'm going to follow along to the instructions laid out by none other than Chef Gordon Ramsay and I'm going to learn how to cook a steak. Over here. Let's do it. So I'm following along to this video online called Gordon Ramsay's Ultimate Cookery Course, How to Cook the Perfect Steak. I'll leave the link in the description if you're curious at all about that video. But that is what I'm following and these are the ingredients I am using. One steak fillet or filet, whatever it's called. A few cloves of garlic, coarse sea salt, black pepper, sprigs of thyme, a few knobs of butter, olive oil. Now firstly, you gotta make sure the steak has been left out of the fridge for at least 20 minutes. The reason being is if it's too cold on the inside, it's gonna overcook on the outside. So this one's room temperature. Season with plenty of salt, like ridiculous amount of salt. That's Gordon, he loves salt. Season, season, season. And pepper. Now he takes a steak and he mops up as much as he can of this season off the cutting board. Mop it up. Okay, that's all I gotta do right here. Let's make our way over the stove. Come along. Now I'm gonna be aiming for a medium rare steak. That is the goal. Now Gordon has this whole way of figuring out when a steak is ready through his palm. So he uses just underneath the palm here, when you're feeling that, that's rare. So if you work your way up here, that's medium rare. And over here, that is well done. I don't want well done. So the pan I'm gonna be using today is a cast iron skillet. You can use whatever you want, a non-stick or any sort of frying pan. I'm gonna be using this. First, turn your burner on to high. You wanna heat up your frying pan first. Take a clove of garlic and smash it. You don't need to peel it. Once your pan's been heated up, you're gonna add your olive oil. And that needs to start just getting to a sizzle. Now, when you add your steak into the pan, you're gonna be adding the steak away from it. We're gonna be searing the steak for 30 seconds per side. Flip it over. Now sear the side of the steak with the fat. Flip it over, sear the other side. Once you've seared all sides, turn the heat down to medium high and add your butter with your cloves of garlic. Now you don't wanna be jostling and moving your steak around, just leave it be. Add your thyme. Now thyme is popping. Take the garlic and smear it on top of the steak. Now baste it in butter. Okay, I think we're good. Take some of that butter. Oh yeah. Now you wanna let the steak rest here for like five minutes. You don't wanna cut open the steak, all that juice comes spilling out all over your cutting board. Less juice comes spilling out if you just let it rest. Five minutes. Now I'm not pleased with my effort here. This looks like it's well done or medium well. I was going for medium rare. So I will eat this, but I'm gonna try it again. So I'm gonna do a few things differently. Firstly, I'm gonna turn the heat of the stove down just a hair because I think it was on a bit too hot. I cranked it. I don't think I should have. Obviously I had it on for six minutes. I'm gonna do it for four minutes. Also, I'm gonna use a thermometer. Now, if I can get it to 135 on the thermometer, that means it's medium rare. That's the goal. I got a thicker fillet this time. It's a little thicker, so I'm hoping it's a bit more forgiving. Okay, I'm gonna sear each side for 30 seconds. 
lots of butter, garlic, thyme, fliparoo, tilt the pan to its side and start basting that steak with butter. Pour that leftover butter and other goodness and sweet, awesome stuff on top of the steak. It's good. Now that is a damn good steak. It's nice and juicy, lots of flavor. I think it's medium rare. I mean, I don't know. I'm not really good at deciphering what that is. If there is one big takeaway from all of this after three attempts, it's less is more when it comes to cooking steak. I eat a lot of chicken and if you don't cook it all the way through, you're in big trouble. But with steak, you have a little leeway there. You can cook it for a little bit or you can cook it for a while. I guess it's kind of a, a practice thing, knowing when to take the steak off the frying pan because even when I was using the thermometer, I still was struggling with the temperature and gauging when medium rare was happening. So you gotta be really watching the clock and knowing exactly when to take it off. We're done here. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I super appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this show. And if you did and you're not already a subscriber, you should definitely jump on that. And if you're already a subscriber, sweet stuff. I love it. I have the link for my Patreon down below. And if you're interested in becoming a producer of the show, like these lovely people here, then definitely sign up for that. And if you're not interested, then that's totally cool too. See you soon.